on the South Oval trying to figure out what students really think about organic chemistry. What comes to mind when you hear the words organic chemistry? Um, hard. Scared. That I would never take it because it sounds like a huge waste of time because it is so challenging. Hard. Difficult. Formulally, I see a bunch of lines and dots and stuff that connect together and make my brain hurt. I, you know, one has lines and uh, one has a little triangle wheel. So. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> to turk doodle form methyl. Two turks, butyl, four methyl, one hexy. I think that is two mountains here and here, with, and they're moving. It's in the future tense. <laughs> April, and that's a zero with a one first. Do you think students need to know organic chemistry for like uses in real life? I don't really know what organic chemistry, the difference between that and regular chemistry are, so I would say no. What students don't know is that organic chemistry happens all over campus all the time and it's actually not that hard to understand. Cakes is one of the most popular places to eat on this campus because it's conveniently located in the freshman dorms. But did you know that there's actually a lot of organic chemistry in cakes? You know well I'm a chicken fry And cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And the radio Underneath the shade of a Georgia pine And that's home, you know Sweet tea, pecan pine Homemade wine Where the peaches grow In my house, it's not much to talk about But it's filled with love It's grown in southern Many fast food restaurants, like Cane's, cook their foods in hydrogenated fasten oils. These fasten oils are used for hair food contain long alkyl chains. An alkyl chain is just a chain that contains carbon and hydrogen. This is an alkyl chain. Everywhere that there's a corner is a carbon, and coming off of that is enough hydrogen to fill four bonds. So here there would be two hydrogens and there are three. A common fat in many foods we consume daily is trans fat. Trans fats are used in many restaurants, like Cane's, because they make our food taste better, but they're cheap and reusable. These molecules may look similar, but their main difference lies in the configuration of their double bond. This molecule has a cis bond, meaning the substituents attached to the double bond are on the same side. However, this molecule has a trans bond, meaning that its substituents are connected on the opposite sides of the double bond, making it a trans fat. Organic chemistry becomes a large part of any college student's life when they turn 21 because then they can drink alcohol. A popular choice of alcohol is beer. In the process of making beer, a lot of organic chemistry is involved. As you can see here, sugars are produced from grains like barley or wheat, and they're converted into ethanol, which is the alcohol content in beer. In this fermentation process, we see a decrease in energy. This axis represents G, which is our Gibbs free energy, and it goes from this higher point here to this lower point here as we create ethanol from sugar. So this decrease in energy means that the reaction is spontaneous and that it will occur in natural conditions. The only problem with this reaction is that it requires a lot of energy to get started. So this whole space here is the activation energy. And we can lower the activation energy needed if we use a catalyst. In beer, yeast is chosen as a catalyst because it allows for the process to go faster. So when yeast is added to beer, then the fermentation process can... Another unique part of the catalyst reaction that happens with beer is that yeast actually stops working as a catalyst as more ethanol is produced. Ethanol is toxic to the yeast, so once it gets to a certain point of production of ethanol, the alcohol content can't increase anymore. This is why most beers cap out at about 12% um, because they don't have a catalyst that can produce more alcohol. Organic chemistry plays a huge role in pharmaceuticals. One of the medicines that's super common among young women today is birth control. Pills and potions, we're One of the chemical factors that makes birth control so effective is the addition of ethylene estradiol. 
Ethylene estradiol is a synthetic molecule, meaning it's made on purpose to have this triple bond as opposed to its natural molecule, which doesn't have it. Triple bonds are rigid and have a linear geometry. That means that they bond to their target receptors in the body more effectively as drugs. Ethylene estradiol has the perfect balance of rigidity and flexibility, making its birth control super effective. After interviewing random students, most students said that they thought organic chemistry was an extremely difficult class that was not worth taking because it was not prevalent in everyday life. But after a few short learning sessions, they quickly understood how important organic chemistry is and it is actually not that difficult. Organic chemistry plays a huge part in everything from nutrition to how our bodies function every day. Many students realized organic chemistry is one of the most useful classes you can take when it comes to understanding everyday life.